Hey, it's me, Javeen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play... Let's 100%, in fact. Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Where we stand now is in a very odd place. We've got three big RPG series going on at once. It's no secret that the other two are much more popular than this one. But by golly, if I say I'm going to do something, I really want to do that thing. So I'm in an awkward position as a content creator because A, I want to do this game and I like playing this game. But uh, B, you know, everyone just obviously keeps on asking, where's the other stuff, GV? We don't care that you want to do this. We only care about Skyrim and Narum. So I guess point is to those still watching the series, thank you. Um, I just really don't like saying I'm going to do something and then, you know, not doing it. Because if I just flat out quit this... Uh, quit this series right now, my channel would probably only benefit. But the trade-off is that I would have said that I would have done something and then not done it. Anyways, point is, for those still watching and enjoying this particular series, thank you, and I'm glad that you are. Uh, also, where we stand with Avery currently is Big Mountain is pretty much entirely done. The only thing I have to do is check and see if I have all the recipe books for the skill books and if I have all of the mods, which cost a lot of money and I'm not even sure if, like, they're, uh even worth it really um yeah if they're even um yeah if, if i you know if they're duplicates or whatever if i really need to buy them that's it other than that everything's pretty much done so uh first of all i need to find a better apparel because christine's suit is wrong and the stealth suit is also wrong so I need to find something that's medi that's light armor, basically, that's better than this stuff. I was really banking on having the, um, the stealth suit, but it's just not going to work out. So first of all, let's head to the Sink's no balcony. Yep, and I really want to get rid of that thing talking, as most people know by now. Let's go into the trunk, and let's drop off everything that we have that we don't need to take with us. <gasps> we're keeping, we're keeping. We are dropping Christine's... Actually, this is a pretty cool weapon. It only weighs five... Yeah, this is a pretty neat weapon. I think I'm going to keep this, actually. Uh, and we'll keep that, and we'll keep this. Hunting revolver, uh, we need to get rid of that. Lucky, we're going to keep. Missile launcher, we're going to ke uh, keep. Pulse grenades, we're going to keep. Ripper. Why do I have this stuff? This stuff is not even unique. Why do I still have this? Sonic emitter, we're going to drop off. Bye-bye. Sterilizer gloves, we're going to drop off. Thumb thump, we're going to keep. X2 antenna we're going to drop off. For apparel, we're going to drop off the Atomic Valence tri radi Oscillator. We're going to drop off the Recon Armor. We're going to drop off the Radiation Suit. Uh, we're going to drop off that. We're going to drop off this. Uh, the Radiation Suit is unique, isn't it? Rad Resistance plus 30. This one's plus 40. We're going to drop that one off too. And that should be it for now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I have to make sure I, ha I drop off. Let's also check this really quick, though. Uh, yeah. We'll keep all that stuff there. Although, wait. Apparel. Did I drop the thing I was wearing in here? I must have, right? What else would I have taken in? Oh, I took some leather armor, though. Uh, let's see. I need a light armor thing is the thing. Oh, hazmat. Okay, we need to take this back because this is not unique. Yeah. All right. So we look like this now. We're a little, uh, we're a little naked, but that's okay. Then, we're going to grab the Big Mountain Transportal Ponder, and we're going to use it. Bam! While you're inside an interior. Okay, that's fine. Bam! And just like that, we are back. Now, we are going to head over to the Lucky 38, which, gosh darn, man, it's been forever since we've been back here. Uh, what even is it? Freeside North Gate, the Strip North Gate. There we go. We're gonna head back to the, the Lucky 38. I should have some light armor that I can wear, right? What the heck were we wearing before we did the big empty, before we did the Old World Blues DLC? I'm not remembering. But maybe jumping back into our... No violence is permitted on the strip. Jumping back into our, uh presidential suite. Hi, Roller Sleet. Maybe we'll be able to figure it out. Where's Victor? Wait a second. Okay. Presidential suite. 
Why is Victor not here? Am I forgetting something? That's kind of odd. I don't think we did the thing that should make him leave just yet, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, where is our clothes? There we go. So we need light armor. That is what we need. So let's see. Let's take a look at our options. We're looking at, we're looking at that light uh, that light indicator down there below the weight. Assassin suit. Sneak plus 10. That's something. Uh, Benny's ban... Or, or the, uh, the bandana. Okay. What does the first recon beret do again? Perception plus one critical... Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, the fall... I keep forgetting to turn off the follow noise, man, in every single recording. Thank you, everybody that follows my Twitch channel. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so let's see. Boomer flight suit, boomer helmet. I don't want to wear that, though. Chalk's headdress, melee weapon. The chalk, Chalk's headdress is kind of cool. Cosmic Knight. Wait, what? Why are these here? Okay, let's take these and put them in the weapons chest. Daniel's ha uh, hat, outfit. Let's see. Light. Nah. Dead Money. Dean's Tuxedo. Desert Ranger. Yeah, it was this, wasn't it? But this is... Okay, we're going we're gonna to take this, the Desert Ranger combat helmet. We'll wear that as our light armor. Uh, we got the robes. Joshua Graham's armor. That's kind of neat. Yeah, we could wear that. Lightweight metal armor. Let's see. Robco. Uh, Sierra Madre. I don't, I don't really like the look at that at all. Um, tribal rating. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Let's do Joshua Graham's armor. Oh, the condition is crap. That's probably why. What was the other one that we were looking at then? It was the assassin suit, wasn't it? Sneak plus 10. Yeah. Let's take that. And then what was the helmet that I said I was going to wear? It was the Desert Ranger. Right. Okay. So now, if we put that stuff on, the assassin suit, light armor, sneak plus 10, and the Desert Ranger combat helmet. Bam. Okay. We look like this. And, uh, yeah, we look pretty neat, actually. And we have the full light armor set, so now we'll get the light armor perks as well. Uh, okay, let's put the other stuff back in here, then. Apparel, let's see. Authority glasses. Can you wear... Wait, can you wear those? No. Okay. So we'll put that in. No, I did... Oh, God, I did the thing again. Ugh, I hate doing this so much. All right, see you in a second. Okay. We should be good now. Yeah. All right. And then the weapons trunk. Wait, what? Weapon trunk. T Wait, what? That's right. Here it is. Okay, weapons. I don't know why we put these in there, but boom, boom, boom. Let's see. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. Keep that. Uh, got to get rid of that. Going to keep lucky. Going to keep that. Going to keep that. Ripper, got to get rid of. Silence 22. Okay, we're good. All righty. So, yeah, I need to do a little bit of inventory management there. Let's go back to casino floor. Okay. Now. Here's where we make a big decision. Here's where thing. Yeah, there's Victor. Why is he out here, though? That's weird. Uh, here's where... Oh, probably because we... Yeah. Because we did the big upgrade thing. Okay, let's take a look at our quests, shall we? We have Wild Card. Change in management. Kill or disable Mr. House. Wild Card. Side bets. Blah, 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 blah. For the Republic Part 2. Return to Colonel Moore and report that the Omerta's plans have been foiled. Beware the wrath of Caesar. The Legion has spies everywhere. If you continue to work against its interests, you will be marked as an enemy. Render unto Kaiser. Kill Mr. House and the Reunion. Travel to the canyon, wreckage near Prim, and enter the Divide. Well, our, sh our, our hands are kind of tied here. We're going to do the next DLC right off the bat, I think. Also, do we have a radio thing for that? I forget. Mysterious, Radio New Vegas. I don't think we do. I don't actually remember. Uh, let's read these two really quick. Okay, do we have any other things here that we want to read? Look at all of these things that we have. No. Okay, before we head out over there, though, let's quickly go to Gunrunners. Gosh, I forget where everything actually is. It's been so long. Oh, and let's have the game crash, because that's... <laughs> that's this game's thing now, is just crashing constantly. Uh, yeah. Man, I'm looking in my tools, and it says Gek New Vegas Edition. And I, for a second, I thought it was Gex, that old platforming game with the lizard. I was like, wait a second. Gex is on Steam? I think it actually is on Steam. I think I saw a picture of Gex. Maybe this morning. We're going to press continue and hope to God that that's after exiting the Lucky 38. Please be. Praise be. Please be. Yeah, I think so. Cool. And we, we even have that. 
that quest activated. Awesome. All right, please go to gun. Man, now I'm going to be so scared. Luckily, there's auto saves for everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be really scared that something's gonna ba something bad's Hello. going to happen. Welcome, sir. Or at a very bad time. All right, so let's put our stuff up for sale real quick. Uh, we want to get rid of the hunting revolver. We want to get rid of these pulse grenades. Uh, I would say four of them. We want to get rid of the ripper. We're going to keep the shovel. We're going to keep everything else. Apparel, we're going to get rid of the eyeglasses. Aid, let's see. I should have dropped this off. Fixer, adios. Fixing things and all this stuff. Hydra, adios. Ice cold, yeah. We got, we got a lot of this stuff that's unique. Mentats, oh yeah, we have a ton of that. Nuka-Cola Quartz, Victory, Patriots, Cookbook, Preserved Meat, Programmer's Digest, let's see, Radex, Radaway, Salient Green, Crap, Spore Plant Pods, Poison Resistance, HP, right, Steady, let's get rid of that, Stealth Boy, Sunset, Sarsaparilla, Super Stim Pack, Today's Physician, blah, 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 good, Miscellaneous, we won't worry about, okay, so, let's just grab those caps, 1,077, bam, then, um, Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if... Yeah, we were supposed to wait some time in uh, in game and see if... See if they had those unique weapons that I was missing, which I, th I think some of these are, actually. But I'd have to check, so we'll, we'll have to come back and make sure that we have all the unique weapons. Uh, but I wanted to go here to apparel and grab something that has light. So, yeah, let's see. This here, we're gonna take... And then, do you have any light armor, metal armor? Uh, God, even that? Yeah, literally not. Man, it's so rare to find, like, a light armor, you know, to be able to repair with the jury, jury rigging perk. Okay, we're going to take that. Bye-bye. Adios. Then, items, apparel, desert ranger combat helmet, repair with the combat helmet. Yeah. Bam. Cool. So we need to keep an eye out for any sort of light armor that we can repair this assassin suit with. In fact, we could do it with the space suit. Yeah. Shoot, which means we could probably do it with the, uh... We could probably do it with the, um... Radiation suit as well. Now, one second. One last thing to check here. Welcome, sir. Okay, yeah. I didn't think they had any aid. That's it. No, 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 no. Bye-bye. Adios. Okay, one last stop. Nah, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Wait a second. Ooh. So hard finding Good Springs again every time I want to. There we go. Let's head back to uh, Good Springs really quick, just for a quick stop in. Because I want to see if Doc Mitchell has any stim packs to either give or sell to us. Let's wait until nine hours. We'll pop in and see if he's got any stim packs. See, I really should prepare better, but I just don't remember with the thing that we're going to take on next. I don't remember if you can leave or if you can't. I, have, I, I, I do not remember whatsoever. Either way, let's head in here. Yeah, what up, Doc Mitchell? How you doing, partner? How are you holding up? Pretty good, man. <laughs> you have no idea what, I, what I've been through. Uh, let's see. I need medical supplies. Sure. Sweet. So let's go to aid, and you got 10 stim packs. Works for me. Got a couple of stim packs. Got a couple of doctor's bags. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Hopefully that's all I need. Bye-bye. You take care now. You too, Doc Mitchell. It's been a long time. See you later, alligator. All right, folks. We are going to do it. We are going to do the reunion. Travel to the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the divide. We've already been to the canyon wreckage. That's where we got those MREs. And check all this out. Might make for a good thumbnail. Uh, I deleted all my saves other than these two. So hopefully that doesn't screw me over entirely. Because we had quite a lot of saves here. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Here's the canyon wreckage. Lonesome Road. As if to illustrate, hey, you're about to do the Lonesome Road. So yeah, for those not understanding, this is the final DLC. The fourth of four. The Divide. Courier 6. Uh, we are Courier 6, by the way. You can go home, Courier. Well, no. I want to go through here. Lonesome Road. The coordinates you received lead you to this canyon filled with storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the Divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced Couriers, level 25 or higher. Spoiler alert, we're max level, which I think is 50, right? Or is it 30? I don't remember what it is. No, it must be 30. Yeah. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find out with you. 
You can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction, however. If the journey proves too difficult, or if you need a resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you are prepared, then continue on into the Storms of the Divide. History awaits. I walk the lonesome road, the only road... You get it. Quest completed. The Reunion. What a quest. Poison removed. Quest added. The Silo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. You have discovered pass to Canyon Wreckage. Let's wait for all these things to run out here. Looks like that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth and final DLC, Lonesome Road. Now, because of the dark nature of this DLC, I didn't like it when it first came out. I, uh... I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't like it. But now, now that I'm, a, I'm an adult, and now that I appreciated dead money more so than I did in the past. Ooh, all of our stuff is gone now. Let's go ahead and hotkey these items before I forget. Uh, let's see. Chance's knife goes down here. Christine's silenced rifle goes here. Uh, detonator, advanced LAER, hollow rifle goes there. Lucky goes up here. Missile launcher or thump thump goes up there and we should be good. So yeah, I didn't like it uh, when I first played it. Um, I didn't like it at all, in fact. But I think I'm going to like it much more now. I think I will enjoy it uh, much more so than I ever did. So we are going to attempt to do every single thing in this DLC. And luckily we can, in fact, return. Uh, oh, I have Soylent Green down there, right. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to go into this, the thing that I'm trying to say, the big the big speech here, is that I'm going to go into this with a renewed interest. I've been looking forward to this DLC probably the most, if I'm being honest, even though Old World Blues is probably my favorite. I've been looking forward to this DLC, I think the most out of all four. Yeah, definitely not Honest Hearts, for sure. Got a duffel bag up here, by the way. Five millimeter rounds, bottle cap, MRE, which does what? HP plus six for 15 seconds and weighs 0.1. And we'll take the jet. Thank you, Mr. Skelly. Yeah, I think I think I will appreciate this DLC a lot more is what I'm trying to say. So let's see if that indeed happens. I don't know, but we'll find out. I really don't remember much about this DLC, to be honest. I remember it being a, a road. Yeah, like a, like a giant, uh, a giant, um, path, basically. I remember it being kind of more linear than the others. Here's Hopeville Silo Bunker Entrance. Hopeville Ballistic Defense Station authorized military personnel only. Well, that's us, right? Let's go to data real quick and look at our quest. The silo. Navigate Hopeville Missile, missile Silo to reach the Lonesome Road. Let's do it. Yeah, so this almost feels blind to me. So just a heads up. You can go home courier. No, I can't. Lonesome Road. Yep, that's the DLC. Howdy doodly. Hello, everybody. What's going on in here? Got a reactor over there that requires a key. We've got a silo blast door controls. We've got a programmer's digest. Okay. We've got... Utility that requires a key, and we've got a terminal. Maintenance access level three. Hopeville missile silo maintenance welcome user. Unlock maintenance access door. Maintenance door unlocked. Maintenance access status. Maintenance access unlocked. Maintenance access status log. Main power offline. Emergency power standby. Maintenance report level one. Non operational. Security measures inactive. Two non operational. Same, uh, same thing. Three. Same thing. Okay. So that's open that, but still not this. It needs electricity before opening. Find something to break the encryption on the blast door terminal. Well, we didn't even try it yet. This console controls access to the silo itself, but it is encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to proceed. Uh, sir, I have a hundred, uh, a hundred science. What are you talking about? Utility. Now, what do we have here? Acce uh, activate commissary terminal. This terminal can only be unlocked by an iBot. Well, shoot, we left EDE back home. And uh, it said that we couldn't take him with us. So what would you like me to do? If only there were another iBot, huh? 
Ammunition box with an electron charge pack. Electron charge pack. Arc welder. Ooh, that must be a new type of weapon. I don't remember exactly what weapons this DLC adds. Arc welder. EMP bonus damage versus robots power armor. Yeah, and it uses EC packs. Uh, yeah, well, why not? When in Rome, we'll put that on the uh, side slot. Okay, let's try a force. Nah, you know what? Let's be safe. Let's open it up, guaranteed. Fantastic. What do we have here? Breathing mask. Ooh, I think that's I think that's new as well. Not entirely sure. The door to the reactor is blocked. There's a solitary stim pack on the ground, but also a hidden duffel bag with seven missiles inside. My gosh. Uh, metal box with nothing. We got a little first aid kit back here that's hidden away. Auto inject stim pack. Oh. These are new too, I believe. Automatic use at 50% health, HP plus 90. Thank you. Okay. Got some pods here. Hopefully no pod people inside. And look at that. We got a dang old iBot inside. Uh, with a maintenance bot control. Nuka-Cola quartz. And then I believe there was something else over here. No, there was not. Nothing I want to explore, really, anyways. All right, what do we got? Hopeville Missile Silo Maintenance Welcome User. Let's do bot pod status, bot pod locked, maintenance department log, main power offline, emergency power standby, blah, blah, blah. We've read all that before. Commissary notice. Attention all base personnel. The automated commissary system has been locked down until further notice. Turns out that the counterfeit proof pay chits we've been issuing to you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. Until we can correct the problem, you'll have to make your purchases the old fashioned way. Sergeant Lansky. Or was that Staff Sergeant? It had two S's. Commissary reminder. Attention all base personnel. This is just a reminder that all base commissary terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time on the tech or the technicians by running from commissary to commissary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the first one. Staff Sergeant Lansky. Okay. Unlock prototype bot pod. Bot pod status. Unlocked. Oh my god. It's EDE again. Ralphie, fly far, fly fast. EDE, what are you doing here? <laughs> Expository beeping. This silo must have some pretty advanced engineering facilities to remote scan you and build copies. Okay. We've got a whole lot of choices here. Slow down, slow down. What do you mean you're not the EDE I know? I think I could use your help getting out of here. Can you come with me? EDE has given you the enhanced sensors perk. Experiment log 369248-B. iBot DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um... Reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. Okay, so now since he called him, I always knew it was Eddie. But I just like being super, super precise. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Eddie from now on. Yeah. That's a recording from your development. You saying you can override electronic security? Only panels with a dish-shaped receiver. The console in the main room had one of those, I think. Was that the voice of your creator? What happened to him? Well, I'm sure he's fine, wherever he is. Maybe you'll see him again someday. All right. Let's keep moving. Okay, so we get a copy of EDE, of Eddie, 
who has given us a new perk here. Enhanced uh, sensors. While, e While Eddie is a companion, the player can detect enemies at an increased range. Additionally, enemies will appear on the player's compass and can be targeted in vats even when cloaked. Ah, neat. All right, well, let's go, little guy. Back into the main room. Oh, yeah, and it said optional have him access the commissary. This terminal can only be unlocked by an iBot. Uh, well... You, you, you doing? Oh, my God. Okay. EDE has unlocked a commissary for you. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Welcome to the United States Armed Services Joint Automated Commissary and Repair Station. What does that, what does that spell? U.S.U. Sass Jackress? Please input your selection below. Access commissary, access universal repair interface. Ooh. Repair all would cost... 31,478 caps. Unbelievable. Uh, you know what? Let's repair this, sure. Let's repair the stuff that we're using. Desert Ranger Combat Helmet, sure. Uh, Lucky, sure. Let's see. Silence 22 Pistol, yep. Thump Thump, yep. Space Suit, yep. Breathing Mass, nope. This, nope. This, yep. This, nope. Okay, anything else? Shovel, yeah, why not? Breathing mass short. Okay. And everything else is way too expensive for what it is. Repairing in Fallout, man. I will never understand why it's so incredibly expensive. But there you go. Access commissary. Now, what do we have here? Some of this might be new. I'm not entirely sure what was added with this DLC. But we've got quite a lot. Okay, let's see. Weapons. Fi oh, those are new. Yeah, flashbangs. Yeah, let's buy those. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, apparel, breathing mask, riot gear, riot gear helmet, uh, sneak sight, perception plus one, guns plus five, agility plus one. Oh, this is super cheap too. Yeah, let's buy that. U.S. Army combat armor, guns plus three, survival plus two, riot gear, and breathing mask. So yeah, that stuff is probably super duper new. Auto inject stim packs are new, uh, but I need normal stim packs. I'll take those. Uh, miscellaneous. Let's see. Just a lot of... Oh, Red Glare, Alpha Strike, Auto Launcher, Fire Strike. Okay, so we got, we got a lot of new mods. And it looks like that's about it. Okay, we'll take all that. You have found a flashbang grenade. Flashbangs are special grenades that deal fatigue damage, reduce enemy weapon skills, have a chance to frenzy tunnelers. Oh, completely forgot about that. Okay, that put a note in our journal. Now, that's really cool. Okay. All right, let's go, new Eddie. Eddie 2. If you could go ahead and uh, go ahead and do do your thing. Eddie has restored power to the silo's excess controls. Turn the silo's power back on. You got it. So what hath been revealed is a shuttle? I forget exactly how this goes. That definitely looks like a shuttle, right? But it might not be a shuttle. It might not be a shuttle. Hmm, not entirely sure. Okay, now this is opened up. Hydraulics access level three. Okay, we should be able to get through this pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five. Why is it always one off, man? Well, because they need to give you a bit of a challenge, right? Okay, so if we find one little syntax thing, paired bracket, like that. Really? Allowance replenished? Come on, man. Just need one to be deleted. Bam. We can do that, and we can do that. Okay, we're guaranteed now. How about you? No? Okay, that's fine. How about you? Yeah. Okay, Hopeville Missile Silo Maintenance. Unlock Hydraulics Access Door. Hydraulics as Access Status. Why do they feel the need to, like, put the status? I don't know. What do we got in here, though? Let's see. Bunch of random odds and ends. Some electron charge packs, which is useful for the arc wielder, which is here, by the way. I am assuming this thing just... 
Oh, I see. Okay, cool. I'm not sure how much I actually used this back when I first played the Lonesome Road. Uh, we got a lot of cigarettes, random tools, and it looks like that's it. All right. Moving right along. Destroyed iBot. iBot upgrade circuit board. Ooh. You found a module on this broken iBot that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first rank of the Camarader E perk. Allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped weapon once per day. Ooh, this perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. If you find more upgrade modules, you can unlock further ranks of this perk. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. Ah. Very cool. So let's, uh, yeah, find all of Eddie's upgrades. Okay, so we probably have to find five specific iBots. Well, four now. Now, what in the world do we have here? I mean, it looks like a space shuttle, no? But I feel dumb because I feel like it's not. Not entirely sure. Utility is that away. Is this locked? No. Okay, looks like that's it. I mean, we can't even interact with this thing. We can go up to higher levels. Okay, just a couple of boxes here. We're going to force lock that bad boy because I'm a bad boy and I'm not scared at all. Primer 50... MG, scrap metal, surgical tubing. There's an ammo box over here. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't feel bad to the bone enough to try to force lock a hard lock, though. So, I'm not that cool, unfortunately. Electron charge packs. Cool. Okay, let's head up over here. Wait a second. How the heck do we get up to that level? Ah, I see. I was wondering why I didn't spot this earlier. Nope, I should have just spotted it earlier, because it's right here. Dr. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley. There you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too... You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him! Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here, I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. It sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about you. Ralphie who? You're still not making sense, Eddie. Who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentioned to Colonel Autumn. Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. I forget who Dr. Grant actually is. Was that the female voice? I suppose it must be. Whatever trash can, I really don't give an S about your problems. Jeez. Dr. Grant sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. Yeah. You don't have to tell me I would have beat the crap out of her? Jeez. Why, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> I'm not going to do that one, I don't think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to be canon that Avery's a woman beater. Jeez. Um, that's a terrible story, Eddie. But we should really get moving. It's okay, little guy. We got a long ways to go, buddy. A long, long, lonesome road. What does this say? United States. Never heard of it. What could that be? What's up, dude? You want to talk to me again? I mean, there's a... Okay, one second. We got a security control level 2 terminal here. So once again, let's try to find a couple of syntax. Just need one dud removed. There we go. Hanging. Genghis. Now, what do we have here? Deactivate second level robot security. Sure. Second level security status. At inactive. All right, sorry if I just hurt one of your friends, buddy. Just trying to make sure that we don't uh, get fired upon. Sentry bot with a whole lot of ammunition, including a rocket, by the way, which is brand new. Okay, what do we have in this room? A desk with a hard lock. Color me intrigued. Come on, come on. There you go. Energy cell, Hopeville silo, first level security code. Ooh, and a plasma defender. I don't think that's new. I don't remember what a plasma defender actually is. 
And then let's take a look at that note real quick. It's literally a blank note, okay? Uh, we got some plans here. Reload procedure, reload, okay, yeah. Is this, this is a, this is an entirely different weapon we have not seen, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's the arc welder, even though it looks like it just a little bit. Okay, let's go, buddy. Storage. Now, what do we have here? H&H &H Tools Nail Gun. Now, that was in Fallout 1, wasn't it? Or Fallout uh, 3, wasn't it? I think so. Silent bonus, critical damage bonus, and limb damage. And then it's going to take nails as ammo. Yeah, I don't remember. That might have been added with this DLC as well. Because I don't remember finding any nails as ammunition. Or maybe I just didn't pick them up because I thought they would have been miscellaneous items. Uh, we've got a Marked Men Ravager. Who's got a Bowie knife, which has double criti bonus critical damage. I feel like this is new, too. Marked Trooper Armor. Guns plus two, Endurance plus one. I'm not going to take this because it weighs 20. Uh, we'll take it. If we find another one, I'll drop it, though, because I don't, I don't believe that's unique. Uh, this guy is super duper red. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Bobby pin nails. Yeah. Yeah, the nail gun must have been added. So, yeah, we're already getting a whole bunch of new weapons. Red Glare Rocket Launcher. Aha. So this is the uh, Lonesome Roads DLC. Uh, this is this is its big weapon. Its big new weapon. Yeah. Search dead marked man. What do you got? Doctor's bag. Stim pack. Nice. Thank you. Trying to find a good thumbnail. Haven't really found one just yet. But that's okay. All right, moving on. Hello. Don't mind me. Okay, we got a door, and we got a couple of doors moving up. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's arc welder this guy. Holy crap. Oh, why am I not taking damage? Okay, that actually does some really nice damage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's repair our leg or whatever it is that's broken here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going to doctor's bag that up. Why am I not damaged at all, I wonder? That thing was shooting literal missiles at me. Okay, this security. All right, let's go through here first. Uh, did we see this terminal? I don't think we did. Turret security terminal. This terminal is damaged. You may be able to fix it. What would you like to do? Well, repair it. Hack security turrets. Yeah. Okay. Turrets are on our side. Let's go through here. Hello there. A lot of missiles, a lot of rockets, a lot of little rounds there. Thank you. Let's grab this, and then let's repair it immediately. Easy peasy. Uh, let's see. We got a desk with nothing. We've got a terminal with nothing. We've got a desk with nothing. Another one of these marked men with another Bowie, uh, Bowie knife, Legion Denarius, and Scout Armor. Yeah, this, this thing is definitely not unique. I'm going to drop it. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, wait a second. Yeah, I'm going to drop that one. That's medium armor. But what about you? Is this light armor? Aha! Okay, we really need to keep an eye out for that so that I can repair this over and over again. Yeah, we'll hold on to that because I don't need to repair just quite yet. And then give me that. Thank you. Okay, what do we have in here? What are you excited about, little buddy? Fixing things. We got another... Okay, you go do your... You doing it? I'll let you do your thing, man. First aid box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This, the mainframe is locked down with a secure military-grade encryption sequence. You'll need to find the security codes and upload them to ED to Eddie to gain access to the mainframe. So we might have already found that. I'm not entirely sure. But we have a new objective now. That needs a key. This guy's got another arc welder. What do you have? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can keep that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's repair this again. Yeah, the arc welder, I'm not sure if it's considered big guns or energy weapons, because it looks kind of like both. Not entirely sure. Okay, we have not been through here just yet. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, nice to meet you. We've got General Martin Retzlaff, who's got a U.S. Army General outfit. Speech plus 10, guns plus 5. And it weighs literally half a pound, so we're going to take that. Thank you. 
Let's see, you've got a 10 millimeter pistol and you've got base commander's terminal. Deactivate personal sentry systems. Open personal sentry doors. Personal sentry security status. Deactivated. Okay. So those guys should be deactivated and then we can grab the goodies behind them. I noticed y'all had some goodies, right? Plasma mine, pulse grenade, fission batteries and such. Plasma mine, cool beans. Nothing I really need there too much. What about you? Plasma rifle, ammunition box, thank you. We have enough stealth boys for now. Haven't even been using the ones that we do have. Okay, so I think we have... Oh, wait. Is it telling me... It's acting like there's something... Oh, he's got a desk here. Yeah, bam, bam. Silo network security codes. That's what we're looking for. So now we have to upload that to EDE. Okay, that's an impressive multi-tool suite you got. Bet I could make all sorts of stuff with that. Cool. Hey, is that an Armco portable reloading bench built into you? That'll be handy. Sweet. Can you repair my weapon? Okay, so that's just going to repair the arc welder, so I should have waited for that, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Storage open, tactics interface open, follow protocol. I'd like you to replay one of those audio logs. Do we already have this? Okay, bye-bye. Do we already have this thing? There we go. Minutemen, authorization code, response scenario, blah, blah, blah. It's telling me to go back to this thing, so this might already be activated. Ask Eddie to unlock the mainframe. It's all you, my friend. Wait! Activate the mainframe to unlock the silo's exterior doors. Open the silo's bunker doors. Combat music? But why? Holy crap! Okay. I'm just gonna stay back here. Take some cheap shots. Whoa! All right, did we do it? Nice job. Nice job, Eddie. So glad, by the way, that rockets, literal rockets weigh nothing. Okay, not sure exactly what they were uh, fighting. Why does this stuff weigh so much? Holy crap. Okay, I'm not gonna take that one. We'll just have one on hand. I guess they were fighting some marked men. I didn't even see them attack or do anything, though. Thank you. Okay, we're getting our stim pack supply back up, which is great. Okay, let's see. You're done. I think we need to go out this way, right? That'll take us to the exit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, but what about over here? Oh, yeah, we had the tur- Oh, uh, yeah, maybe the sentry bots were attacking us, but the turrets were attacking them. Not entirely sure. Thank you. Easy peasy. What do we have here? Sentry security security access status. It's unlocked. I feel like we've been here already then, right? Or maybe not. Ooh. Doctor's bag, Radway stim pack, super stim pack. Plasma grenades. What do we got here? Meeting people, pre-war money. Thank you. Just got to keep an eye out for those little tiny uh, hollow tapes and stuff. That's the stuff that's super easy to miss. And then we got to go all the way back for uh, I'm not seeing too much. Okay, cool beans. All right, I wanted to make it out of this intro before we ended the episode. Looks like we should be able to do that. You can go home, courier. You keep saying that. What's up, dude? You want to talk or what? Keep making these little blips. There's your signal. Faint, but there. Just like NCR. Voice without fire, without strength, sick. Her tales of you walking the Mojave, giving the two-headed bear strength, giving hollow men like Kimball, like Crocker, half the life Hanlon had. Now, let's test that strength, that conviction, courier.
Maybe you better tell me who you are and what you want. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6. Like you. And not like you. In all the ways that matter. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. We've never spoken before. I'd remember your voice. Words are the only way couriers meet. Sometimes it's the paths we walk. But no. We've never spoken before now. You may not know my voice, but we've walked the same places. The long 15 to Prim. That wasn't the only road you ever walked. I've been to your home, the place you kept returning to. May not be the place you were born, was the place you gave life to. Same thing. People forget couriers can keep communities alive until the day they're gone and their breath catches in their throat. Most likely to uncover all six references to courier what? Huh, interesting. So you're the one who sent the radio message, Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago. Long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags. And he had to make them one. Ulysses, not the myth. You're honoring history, not stories. History, yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general, like Caesar and Oliver. He was brown and stubborn. Gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory. Turned two flags into one. That's when he lost. When the fighting was done, the sickness took hold. Lesson there. If history is to be believed, one you should heed. You brought me here to talk. If you wanted to kill me, you'd have waited until I came for the chip. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it. Just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Killing is personal. So those vows, promises, last bits more important to me than the first. Legion doesn't kill Legion. Kaisar's orders? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words. You chose Ulysses because of the two flags reference. Is that tied to the war in the Mojave? War. Call it that. Our part in it. Ulysses wasn't made for the flag he followed. He wasn't made for peace. That's the lesson. If you follow a symbol to the end, ask yourself what that means. More important, ask what happens after the end. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here, so let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. 
Got machine, a robot with you. Can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away, at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the Divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Fine. I'll find this trigger, then I'll come find you. The Divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here, courier. Left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Okay. And there's the setup. And by the way, there's a warhead right there. I love tracking them down. They're actually really fun to track down. They're like collectibles that you shoot and explode. <gasps> Always found a Nope. Not Elijah. I always found Ulysses to be um, a super big edgelord. And uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of this, once again, went over my head when I first played this game. So I'm going to try to pay attention much more and see if he's actually a well-written character. Because so far, he's definitely an edgelord. You know, he's just like, what is up, Corey? You, you want to get answers? You have to go through all the hardships that America went, blah, blah, blah. So I don't, I don't know how people really feel about this DLC, to be honest with you. But I want to go into it receptive and uh, with an open mind. Um, and see how good it is, because I really don't know, to be honest. I don't remember much about it. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode for more The Lonesome Road DLC. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks so much to my patrons. I will see you all there. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to catch more of me, I'm streaming all the time pretty much on Twitch. Link and schedule are below. If you'd like to go the extra mile in support of me, consider becoming a patron and or liking the video. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.